this is Desmond's Donders. This is our video diary from our recent visit to Drummond Castle. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Desmond's Donders. Let's head off on a Donder. Now up a viewpoint, an overnight stop because for various reasons I can't get in where I want to be tonight but I should be able to tomorrow. There's Findon Bay, tied out. If you look across the bay and across the Firth The, the lights over from the oil rigs and round and looking up towards Inverness. We're at the Glen River to state again, this time at Drummond Castle. There's the notice board, it shows you where we are. Don't worry too much about reading it because I'll be doing a bit about the history during the video. Through the trees, the bushes and the grass. The river that runs beside the park up. More from there later. These trees hide the castle. Drumming Castle is a 14th century tower house. It overlooks the confluence of the rivers Livet and Avon, near the village of Glenlivet. Only two walls of this imposing castle have survived, which was thought to have been built for Alexander Stuart, son of King Robert II, better known as the Wolf of Badenoch. It passed from the Stuart family to the Gordon family in 1490. The castle was abandoned in the 18th century and fell into disrepair. Sighted as it is on the ridge above the confluence of the rivers, the castle occupies a natural strategic site. It is likely that the present castle is constructed on the site of previous fortifications and may originally have been an Iron Age done. It is now a scheduled monument. There is little written history on the castle and what there is can be open to interpretation. However, it is recorded that King Robert II granted the lands of Strathaven, including Drummond, to his son Alexander Stuart on the 17th of July 1372. Alexander Stuart was noted for his temper and harsh justice. He is mostly remembered for the sacking and burning of Elgin Cathedral, as part of a long-term feud with the Bishop of Moray. It is unlikely that he was ever in permanent residence at Drummond, the castle being held by one of his sons. He also owned the strongholds of Lochindorb and Lochen Eileen, and would more likely be re resident there. It is thought that Sir Walter Stuart, the wolf's grandson, built the current castle in the late 1400s, replacing an earlier fortification. 
The same Sir Walter Stuart, however, disposed of the castle and lands pertaining to Drummond in 1490, when they passed to Alexander, the third Earl of Huntley. The Stuart family continued to live at Drummond and nearby Kilmakley until the early 1700s when Gordon Stuart is thought to have been the last resident of the castle. It is presumed that the castle fell into disuse at about this time. The only other notable reference to the castle in the intervening period was that the Marquis of Argyll stopped there with his army before the Battle of Glenlivet in 1594. The ruins have been stabilised and access created up to and into the castle, so it's easy to explore. Behind the castle, in the walled garden, is the Glenlivet Community Orchard, which makes it a great picnic spot on a sunny day. The castle ruins are reached by a flight of steps or a sloping grassy path, both leading from the car park. A longer walk, the Drummond Circular Path, can also be started from this point. Diary, the 6th of August 2020. I headed off alone, originally heading for Claudie Moss. However, on arrival, it was extremely busy. I headed for Califer Viewpoint and spent the night there. I managed a few shots and video of the sunset, then a cup of tea and time to think of a weekend destination where Lindsay can find me. We decided on Drummond Castle and Lindsay will join me on Saturday. Seventh of August, 2020. I spent a slow morning at the viewpoint before heading off to Drummond Castle. There are one or two cars in the car park, but plenty of room for me. The weather is warm and overcast. Hopefully it will be clear as per the forecast. After lunch, I decided to fly the drone and not wait for the sun. I am glad I did because shortly after I landed, the rain started. It continued on and off most of the day and it stayed warm and I was able to keep the door and windows open. I listened to the cricket and used my radio gear. The car park was dis busy despite the rain. It cleared up later and I was able to watch the birds go about their business until late. No wildlife spotted except the odd bee. The river was a constant whisper in the background and a lovely sound to drop off to sleep with later, with the rain having ceased.
Good morning. There is a little bit. Drumming Castle. Plenty of it. There's a shop. Hobby spot. Great park up. And very, very peaceful. You could say another favourite spot. And I certainly have to agree. And this is the view. Alright, taken from outside. But this is what we can see from the motorhome window. The Riverside Trail. I think it's called the Smugglers Trail. I wonder what they could smuggle in Glenlivet. There was a trout rising in this pool a few seconds ago. With any luck, it'll perform again as I pan through. They do say never work with animals or children. The lovely River Livet. of August 2020 up to do a little videoing then time to listen to the cricket it should be an interesting day the car park is very busy today but nobody is staying for long the cricket eventually ended with an unexpected home victory Craig brought Lindsay in the afternoon and they went up to the castle Lindsay then went to pick raspberries I flew the drone while Craig and Lindsay were at the castle and afterwards Craig left for home and we had a cuppa. Later we walked down by the river and watched trout rising after the hatch. Then back to the van for an evening watching birds and reading. I had a tram and it was soon time to head off for bed.
9th of August 2020. Another lovely morning. It's Sunday, so it's RSGB news time. 40 metres today, as 2 metres is just out of range. The car park was relatively quiet, but a number of walkers appeared, as did the sheep farmer. After a couple of cups of tea, it was time to pack up and prepare to head home. It was at this point I remembered the trail cam was out. There is nothing on it when I went out to retrieve it. But that meant it must be time to head for home. Wildlife, white-tailed bumblebee, flying ant, crane fly, hover fly, scotch argus, green-veined white, large white, red squirrel. Birds, wood pigeon, carrion crow, swallow, grey lag goose, rook, goldfinch, robin, blackbird, black headed gull, jackdaw, buzzard, sparrowhawk, chaffinch, grey wagtail, wren, greenfinch, tree pipit, grey heron, common gull. Problem. What? You forgot to switch it on. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Desmond Stonders. This week we're at Drummond Castle and here is our photo diary of our visit. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Desmond Stonders. This is our video diary from our recent visit to Drummond Castle. Hope you enjoy it. I hope David's got it right this time. I think so. Okay. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now. <laughs>